Isaha Kusaibu and Sironi Odate and Salamte are both students of Kadi Ayad University in Marrakesh, Morocco. Both are clueless about what the future holds for their education. Their financial predicament is taking a toll on them. For the past 11 months, the government has not paid stipends to students on scholarships in Morocco. From 2019 till date, there have been regular gaps in the payment of stipends. After exhausting all possible avenues, Cyril has already sacked his mind for a possible ejection as his next rent is due. I personally, for the past three, four months, I have had to go to people that are here for help. These are the things. There is a student here who is sick and needs surgery immediately. But there is no money and then she has to put it on hold, hoping that, oh, by the time I'm done with my exams and stuff like that, we will be paid and then we will get the money for, for us to, to go and do it. And then there are also cases where you, you might be in a legal battle with your landlady or landlord because you have not, you have not paid your rent for the, past, for the past four, five months or so. Saka, in the sixth year of his medicine program, is concerned about the completion of his program. Anytime I talk with mom, he just ask how is school and I'm like, everything is okay and all that because my mom is a vendor. So if I was to tell her I'm going through financial problems, where is she even going to get the money to send it to me? Now, for example, I have to live a lot, mostly buy a lot of bread, actually. Maybe a lot of bread with oats, just so that, because bread is a bit cheaper, so that you actually, you still be full at a lower cost. The story of Cyril and Isahaku are a true reflection of other several Ghanaian students on scholarship in Morocco. It's very pathetic, loose to say, about how they are coping here in Morocco. Students who have been ejected over unpaid rent are staying with friends. For students pursuing undergraduate programs, they receive a stipend of $250, while postgraduate students receive $450. Should the government delay further in the payment of stipends, the consequences will be dire. We are pleading with the government of Ghana to come to our aid. As ladies here in this country, we are not even able to afford like the basic needs, sanitary pads, and the worst of it all is like your parents will send you money, and it gets here, it's nothing. You can't even. The scholarship secretary, however, admits to the inconsistency in the payment of stipends. I can assure you that the uh, government is working very hard at it and very soon. Uh, I don't control the press as, uh, as soon as funds are released to me, like we always do, or a to them. The issue of Morocco is a reflection of the predicament of several other students on scholarships in other jurisdictions.